Anyway, uh, we're all about food for the rest of the program. On Facebook today we asked you where you think the iconic eateries are around the country, um, what's really good in your town, and we'll have the results shortly. Uh, the reason we asked you this was there's a burger joint in Queenstown that's leaving the big chains, chains completely in the dust. You may well have had a burger there. We wanted to know what its secret is, so we sent Brodie Kane to try and find out. <coughs> This is a place where people wait for over an hour for a burger. Is there a secret or something that just makes it constantly popular? I think maybe it's a myth or a legend, but it, it's growing. It's just growing and growing and growing. It's growing from this marketing department we have of no people. You heard him, a marketing and sales team of zero. But people from all over the world know about Food Burger. Word of mouth. Old school, word of mouth on a beach in Thailand, word of mouth in a bar in Ireland, word of mouth wherever you are, you come to Queenstown, you've got to have a food burger. But it's just a burger, right? What have you got there? Food burger. The actual food burger? Mm -hmm. Is it nice? Yeah, best yeah. burger I've ever had. Best burger you've ever had? So if that's the case, let's see for ourselves, starting at the bakery. Probably no other burger place around that's when you're eating your burger, you're actually getting a bun that's an hour old, two hours old from the oven. And so the buns are apparently just as important as the guff inside. Woohoo! Look at those! That's the one you roll, rolled there. Food Burger's been pumping out burgers for 13 years. Why haven't you made it bigger? Why is this still quite small? And why aren't they around the rest of the country? We want to keep it special. You know, we could go around New Zealand, people say franchise, franchise, franchise. You're mad not to, but I don't think it would be half the special business it is today if we did. And by now, you're probably wondering. So you've got Ferg on your top? I have Who is he? Here. Who is he? Tell me about him. He was actually, I think, the first person to swim naked down to Glenorchy. Was he? Yes. Yeah. That's what I heard. Mm, not convinced, but don't worry, I'll keep digging. PM Thursday night, it's time to rejoin the journey of my burger. I'm joining some of the 80 staff who work in this near 24 hour a day operation. All right, ready? You ready? Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's, make, let's go make a dinner. Okay. We've got your bun here that you made, you made earlier. Order on one Julie, two B, one oink, please. So I'm starting to think the mystique around food burgers is that the man who started it is mysterious. Some of his staff don't even know who he is and he certainly wouldn't front for me. You can't just come into town, do a wee story and get to meet Ferg. Oh, he's a legend. Who's Ferg? Uh, Ferg, uh, I heard he's the first guy to go down the shot over river in town in a barrel. This is out of Mind control. your backs, guys. Beep. <laughs> but not knowing who Ferg is doesn't seem to make a lot of a difference around here. Number seven. <laughs> Seven? Anybody? Seven? No? So, in the spirit of things, I'll take one for the team. Mm. Cool. Yum. Now, I still wouldn't wait an hour, maybe because I'm just not that patient, but it's not stopping anyone else here. Everyone knows about it over in Melbourne, so, uh, yeah, we came over pretty Everybody. much just for this. So, uh, no other reason, no skiing or anything, just, yeah, it's just tonight, we go home tomorrow. You're gonna eat it all? Of course. Yeah. Is it amazing? Yeah, I want to have another one. Well, you can, maybe tomorrow. Bye. Yeah, it's not really owned by somebody called Ferg. Um, a quick uh, look at the company's office website shows it's owned by Anthony Smith of Queenstown. But they, a couple of years ago, they opened a bakery next door. You might have seen the sign in the back of the shop there. Uh, now, and that absolutely went off mm. as well. So now the two little joints side by side only close for two hours. They close at 5 a.m. to clean the place every mm. morning and then they back open at 7. So and it's uh, like that. Don't really the close at all. Wow. Entire time. Um, interestingly, they, have, they employ a couple of people called fluffers. Yes, Fluffers. <laughs> At who, today's meeting, Ellie had never heard the saying, if you know what Fluffers is, you'd be rolling around in pleats right now. Keep it to yourself. Um, these Fluffers uh, work the so crowd. Is. They w walk around amongst the crowd of people who are waiting an hour for their burger, and they just make sure they're all right. <laughs> Stop Ellie didn't Greg. know the other meaning of Fluffers at all. And um, they just like strike over a conversation. That's not what other Fluffers do.